Now this is in default mode, just as when we bought it. The output is inactive. We have to press OK as normal to release the output current. If we go into set mode, it will switch the output off. And we are now able to go in and adjust the voltage. You can recognize the voltage where it's the small dot in the middle, so it's actually set to 5 volt now. If we press the set button, we can now get to the current, and it's set to 1 amp, 1000, where you can see the dot here is reflecting that it's amp. You can set the number of milliamps, now it's 1 amp and 6 milliamp, 1 amp and 6 milliamp, yeah that's it. And click, click the save button, that's it. The four lines here indicate that it's actually saving. Again we can press the OK button to leave the menu and you can see from the green LED that it is not limited on voltage. If it was switched off and instead the yellow LED was on, it's indicating that it is limited on current. I could illustrate that. Let's just check how much this is using by pressing OK. It's momentarily using 405 milliamp. So if we go to set menu, switch off the output, go to the milliamp and then adjust it to what, 300 something, doesn't matter, as long as it's below 400. I'll press the set button to memorize it, I can see the four lines. I'll press OK to open the output and you can now see that it is actually limited on current. If we press the OK button, it will switch to the output. And it is around 4 volts. Yes, so that's natural enough. Now this module has also possibility of storing about 10 different voltage and current settings. And it's in function number 1 we do that. There's a difference between these menus. I'll show that now. If I take the power off and reconnect the power, you can see that the output is inactive. I have to press OK to enable the output. If I want to toggle that, I need to set the function 0 to yes. Then I have to press down the OK button, reconnect the power, and you can see now that it's toggling between 0, 1, 2, and I have to release at menu number 0. Now that changed to yes. And you can also see that now the output is actually on. If I take the power off, reconnect, you can see that it's again on. If I set 0 to no, do it like this, then I again have to press OK to release the output. There's another menu which is 1, and that's where you store and load your settings. Let's check what that is. Let's just take the power off, press OK, and yeah, release at 1. Oh, it was already set to yes. So now I cannot go in or save. No, I can only switch here between the voltage and milliamps. So watch this. When I press OK and go into menu number 1, it's now set to yes. That means that I can actually save the settings I'm making. So if I adjust the voltage to whichever. I can also change the... Well, I just saved. Go to the milliamps, increase to something, press OK, the set button, and memorize that. Then I can go in and either choose load, I'll just save first. Let's save it at position number 4. Press OK. Yeah, that's it. And let's press OK again to enable the output. Oh, it's too little milliamps. It's still limited, as you can see from the yellow LED. If you, on the other hand, want to load your settings, you go in and switch off the output by the set button. You click the load and choose, what do I know, position number 9, the last. Press OK. And you can now check your settings. It's 1 volt and 35 and 
the milliamps is 33. Okay, that's fine. But we have to remember to set the user set button. Otherwise, it will not release it when we press OK. And now you can see that it's not even on the LED because we only have 33 milliamps and uh, that's way too little. So let's try to go in and get our old position that was pump number 4. Let's choose number 4. Look at it. Yeah, that's fine. Press set button and then release the output. Now it's on. And the last little thing about this module, let's take the power off, see if it remembers. Does remember? Yeah, fine. Let's just for fun sake change the output to be instant on by function zero, set it to yes. So now when we connect the power each time, we have an output on the pre-selected voltage and current settings. And we can also change constantly between the volts out and the current. We do that by going into menu of function number two, release, and set that to yes. So now, as you can see, it is switching between the voltage and what space it was programmed under. I'll just set uh, menu one again to no, so we will not confuse that. So now it will only indicate voltage and current. And I think that's about uh, all the things you can adjust in your menu. If you've got further questions, just leave us a message and we'll try to do our best to help you.